Our next poster, poster 15, is titled Reference Intervals and Age-Related Trends of Bone Turnover Markers in Adult Women. The authors are Ratnayak H, Lekham Wasam S, Vikramathilaka CM, Lenora J, and Disoisa ED. The presenting author is Ratnayaka H. <coughs> Good morning, everybody. Uh, I am Hasanga Ratnayaka, and I am a lecturer attached yeah. to the Faculty of Medicine, University of Ruhuna. And my research title is um, Reference Intervals and Age-Related Trends of Bone Turnover Markers in Adult Women. Um, Bone turnover markers are proteins or products of proteins which are released during bone remodeling. And uh, these bone markers, the behavior of these bone markers are determined by factors that are country specific. Therefore, it is important to determine reference intervals for each country. And in our study, we aim to determine reference intervals for bone resorption marker CTX and bone formation marker P1NP. For this, we recruited adult women uh, more than 20 years of age from uh, Gold Southern Sri Lanka and we divided them into uh, 10 year age groups and um, and uh, then uh, we measured serum CTX and PINP levels using ELISA and mean values were calculated and also 2.5th and 97.5th uh, percentiles were calculated to determine reference intervals. And um, in the statistical analysis, we used ANOVA to uh, compare the means between groups, and also we used Pearson correlations to elicit correlations in between age and bone turnover markers. According to our results, we observed um, highest PINP levels, the bone formation marker, at the age of 20s, which represent high rates of bone formation at young age. And uh, we observed the highest bone resorption marker CTX at, at the age of 60s, um, which represent relatively high bone turnover at the older age. And uh, uh, then we uh, observed uh, lowest CTX and PINP levels at the age of 40s. Uh, this may be due to, at maybe at this age, these women may have uh, achieved their skeletal maturity. And then uh, uh, the mean levels of bone markers at young age, especially the CTX resorption marker, is uh, relatively uh, significantly lower than the older age, than the values of older age. And, but there was no significant differences between bone formation marker between age categories. And also, we observed that uh, the CTX, the, the CTX bone resorption marker correlated uh, positively with age, and uh, this formation marker PINP correlated negatively with age. And also, our results are broadly concordant with the literature data uh, because most of the studies show the similar trend and also most of the, the trough of the bone turnover markers of most of the studies were at the age of 40s. So in, um, in conclusion, so bone turnover markers are not uh, currently used in Sri Lanka for evaluating patients, mainly due to lack of normative data. So in our results show age-related bone um, metabolism in adult women. So um, our results can be used as a platform for future research and as reference values. Thank you. Thank you. The paper is now open for discussion to both the judges and the audience. So you mentioned that the, the reference values can be used in clinical settings. Can you give us an example situation where it can be sort of applied because it's a new thing and a new standard that yes, you developed? Yes, actually uh, these uh, bone marker values can be used for treatment monitoring. For example, uh, when treating patients, osteoporosis patients with uh, 
with a drug uh, such as alendronate, we can measure baseline bone markers and then time to time from one month, three months and six months, in, uh, six months intervals, we can measure the marker levels because research has shown that these bone markers are significantly uh, get reduces upon treatment. Usual cost for detecting these board markers per person? Actually, sir, it is not routinely done in Sri Lanka currently, but um, uh, so if we can uh, now we have done this test <laughs> using yeah, ELISA, yeah. but if we if we are going to use this in uh, in our clinical setting, we, we should go for uh, automated systems. So cost maybe around now in uh, previous days RCD hospital did this but uh, not in routine manner the, they sent their samples to India and it was the cost was about 5,000 per bone marker now it is several years back in the absence of further questions please give a round of applause to our presenter thank you sir.